Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for the second edition of my Half Fancy, Half Frugal series. This is where I do one side of my face with all high-end products, and then I try to dupe all those on the other side of my face with drugstore items. My last look was very classic and glam, and this one I went with um, more of a summertime golden glow type of look, and I used more products. It's kind of crazy. The price difference between each side of my face is $334.22. So, which side do you think is which? Which is drug? store which is high-end. I'll tell you now this side is high-end. It cost $435. That was the grand total of products used. And then on the drugstore side it was just over $100. $100.78 to be exact. So before we get into the drugstore half tutorial I do want to tell you about the products I used that were high-end. First off to kind of lay the foundation for this more lightweight kind of dewy type look on the skin I used my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. That's 62 then I used my Eve Pearl Dual Concealer. That's $39. I used my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder to set the under eye area. That's $37. Also my It Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Powder Foundation. Just lightly all over the skin. That's $35. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is like a half and half powder bronzer. That's $37. I used the Benefit Majorette Cream Blush. It's a pretty coral type shade. That's $28 and then top that with Benefit High Beam, which is $26 is my highlight. I use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Rose, which is $22, just on the one side of my face. I used a Sigma Brow Pencil, which was only $9, but my low-cost alternative is even cheaper. I primed my lids with Bare Minerals Prime Time Eye Primer, that's $18, and then used the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette, which is $42. My eyeliner is the Kat Von D Autograph Liner in Immortal Love. Um, sadly, I don't think this is available anymore, but I believe that used to sell for $19. Um, I used the Benefit Roller Lash on my upper and lower lashes. That's $24. And then on the lips, the main color is coming from Lip Liner, and I used my Too Faced Perfect Lips in Perfect Spice, and I topped that off with Matte Cream Sheen Glass in Boy Bait, which is $20, and I have um, a special edition packaging on that. But again, everything on this side of the face totals out to $435. So now I want to take you through through in tutorial form um, all the drugstore products that I used to achieve a similar look. I used the NYX HD Foundation in Soft Beige all over. This was sent to me by NYX and I was kind of shocked when I looked online and saw the $18 price tag on this. Still substantially less than the Giorgio Armani. I do feel like it gave me a similar look on the skin. Then I used my Sonia Kashuk All Covered Up Concealer, $9.99 at Target. A very similar consistency to the Eve Pearl and I just used that around my under eye area and a little bit around my nose. And I set that with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. This is $9 for this monstrous size and this is a really lightweight finishing powder. And I think it totally mimics the effect of that powder from Laura Mercier. Then I use this Milani Bronzer XL in Fake Tan, which is practically identical to that Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. There's a nice cool tone shade in here that I think works well for contouring. So I took that around the hairline, the cheekbone, and I used that little bit lighter shade just above the hollow of the cheek and just to kind of warm up my skin as a whole. Then I use this Physicians Formula Super BB. The shade is Natural Peach. It's $6.99 and it is like the exact same um, texture and tone as Benefit Majorette. So I really got a similar look out of that blush. They also both have a really nice scent to them. It's kind of interesting. For my highlight, I wanted that same kind of pinky luminosity that Benefit High Beam has and I found that in the Catrice Illuminating Highlighter Pen for $5.99. I put a little bit on my hand and again and pick it up with a small stipple brush and just dab it on the tops of the cheekbones. Next I did my brows with the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil in Taupe. Really nice cool tone pencil and works well for a minimal fill-in on my brows. It's only two dollars. And then to prime my lids I used the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. That's $4.99. And the shadows I used to dupe the look that I got from the Lorac Unzip Gold Palette are from the CoverGirl Go for the Gold Quad. So I used that very warm kind of coppery gold shade, patted that all over my eyes. Eyelid. I went around my inner corner with the yellowish gold. I used that deep dark brown and patted that on the outer part of my eyelid and really got that all the way into the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner and then really started crafting this fairly precise um, outer V. I also smudged that dark shade down on the lower lash line then I went inward with a bit of the copper. I also took that copper and blended it just above the dark brown so really coming up above the crease with that 
shade, making it a little more dramatic and very warm. And then I took the yellowish gold and went straight under the brow with that shade. And believe it or not, I actually found the textures of the shadows in the 699 quad to be a little bit smoother and easier to blend than some of the Lorac shades, so that was surprising. For my eyeliner, I used a dark brown from NYC. It's the Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil, $3.57. I used that in my lower inner rim. I did have to work a bit harder to build that shade up than the Kat Von D, but I applied it to my upper lash line as well. Then I curled my lashes, applied CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, which does seem to have the same curl holding effect as the um, Benefit Roller Lash, and I applied that to my upper and lower lashes. On my lips, a total dupe for the Too Faced um, Perfect Spice Lip Liner is the Milani Color Statement Lip Pencil in Spice, and then I used my Almay Liquid Lip Balm in Rosy Lipped. It definitely has the same effect as the MAC Boy Bait Gloss. Then I set the drugstore side of my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set for $3. You guys, this look was a really big challenge. I feel like the first time I did this half fancy, half frugal thing, I really had a lot of the products in my mind to begin with that I wanted to use for the look, and so for this one, um, some of the face products came together fairly easily, but then when I was moving on to eyes, I spent so long. Over the last, you know, week and a half, I've been experimenting with this look and tweaking the look, and I've become very familiar with what the staying power is like. Okay, this is a voiceover now. I am just looking back on the pictures from the day and just wanted to point out a few things. After four hours, I can still see a lot of the lip product. I know the gloss is worn off, but I can still see the color for the most part there, so I'm pretty happy with how things look after four hours. Although I can see, and I remembered seeing this in a mirror, a little smudging on the high-end side on the lower lash line. After seven hours, a lot more smudging there, as you can see. Um, lip products, I think, have totally worn off at this point. But I'm seeing a lot more of my freckles come through over on the high-end side. I really think that Giorgio Armani foundation looks pretty when you first get it on, but the staying power, it's just got so much moisture in it for me and I don't have even especially oily skin my skin's pretty normal but it just seems to wear down faster than what was happening on my drugstore side I really think it's more about the foundation than the setting mist because I've noticed this happening with this foundation on numerous occasions after 11 hours sorry the lighting is slightly different but I am seeing a significant amount of smudging under the eye I can tell that my wings from my eyeshadow even though I didn't go like rubbing on my eyes um, it's still a little bit better on the drugstore side than the high-end side. I don't feel like my skin looks overly oily or greasy. It's just that I can see more um, wear of the foundation on the high-end side. The finish of both of these foundations when they were first applied seemed pretty similar, but obviously there's a different formulation happening there. So thank you guys so much for taking time to watch. I hope this was a useful video for you if you're looking for some alternatives to high-end products. This might give you some ideas just seeing things in action. And I would love to hear your your requests. If there's a different themed look you'd like to see um, in this series, I'd be happy to try it for you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.